If you're looking for the best live streaming software for Mac in 2025, after testing all the leading options, I'm gonna share the top Mac live streaming apps right now so that you can find the right one for you. So starting out, option number one is a great option for beginners through to someone at that intermediate level, and that's EVMux. This is one that we've spoken about quite a bit on the channel, and it's also one that we've kind of gone back and forth a little bit between recommending EVMux and recommending StreamYard because there are a lot of similarities between the two. Given some pretty serious issues we've had with StreamYard recently, I can no longer recommend it at this time. So my top recommendation here in this category now is EVMux. So it's a really solid, really easy to use, really intuitive web-based solution. So this runs in your web browser, which means that you're not just limited to running this on a Mac. You can run it on Windows. There's also mobile options too. So there's nothing to download, nothing to install. This also means that a lot of the hard number crunching processing stuff is actually done on their end. But some of the standout stuff in EVMux really comes down to the amount of control that it gives you, mix that in with the usability and how easy it is to do stuff. So if you are looking just to create a really simple stream, add in your webcam, even share your computer screen, or even bring in a guest, all of that stuff is literally one or two clicks and you're able to do that. You can easily feature your comments through from different platforms. You can multi-stream to different platforms. And the beauty of multi-streaming through tools like EVMux, where they're browser-based, is that you only need to upload one stream, one feed through to EVMux, and then that will rebroadcast that out for you. So we're not not needing to create a stream for YouTube, create a stream for Facebook or wherever else you wanna push it out to, the multi-streaming piece is handled on their end, which is awesome. I really like that for simplicity, there's different preset scenes that you can use straight out of the box, where you could be full screen you, you could be sharing your computer screen with you off to the side. You could do a 50-50 screen split with yourself and your guest on screen. And all of that with no prior customization. But you do have the ability to dial things in further and to really tailor those up to a great level. And there's actually more control in EVMux for the customization than there is from tools like StreamYard. Bringing in guests is really, really easy. You can just generate a unique link. And then on the other side, your guests can join and they'll just show up as a video source, really, that you can then bring into your stream. So this really is one of the simplest ways that you can easily create a live stream with guests all again from your web browser. There's even a bunch of plugins or add-ons that you can add into your live stream environment. Things like little widgets that will say how many people are watching and on which platforms. There's a lot of extra bolt-on things you can add in here too. So I think this is a great option again for someone who is looking for simple live streams. It's just starting out through to people that do want to experiment, get a bit more involved without needing to jump to full pro level live streams or overcomplicating stuff, diving into settings upon settings. It's really a nice mix of both. Now in terms of pricing, there is a few different options. There's individual plans, there are business plans. Obviously you get to choose monthly or annual. There is a free option, which is great to get you in, playing around with things, making sure that this does everything that you like. But the free version does have a watermark here on your live streams or even on your recording. So all these tools I mentioned, they're great for live streaming. They're also great for recording videos directly into your computer as well. To remove the watermark, that's where you will need to jump on one of their paid plans. Basic, $19 per month. But you can see we can do things like bring up to 12 guests or participants in your stream. You're able to multi-stream to four destinations. And then up from that on the pro plan, $39 per month paid annually. We can multi-stream to more than that, up to nine on the pro plan. We can also unlock ISO recording. So if you are gonna be recording, even things like a podcast or an interview where you want the best recording settings is recording directly on your computer and their computer so that we're not worried about bad internet or anything like that, that you get the high quality version afterwards, then it's great that that feature is in there too. Option number two is Prism Live Studio. And this is an amazing free option that is Mac compatible. There's also a Windows version as well. And there's also a mobile version too. And this is another one that I'd say is great for someone who is at a beginner to really an intermediate level. Level, there's probably not as much customization as you'll find in EVMux, but then there's a different level of customization too. There's other things that you can dial in. And this is where with any of this stuff, it really is about finding which is the best option for you based on your needs, based on your skill sets, and really how easy or difficult you wanna make things when you're live. Which is why I'd always 
recommend grabbing the trial version or anything like that and testing it out for yourself after you're hearing out the options. But unlike EVMux, this is something that you would download and install on your computer. So this is actual software and that unlocks a bunch of extra features as well. Now there is built-in multi-streaming in here as well as we have with EVMux. But again, that difference is being software installed on your computer, it's up to your computer and your local internet connection to push that feed out to the different platforms. Meaning that if you wanna go live to three different places, you're essentially streaming and pushing out three feeds to three different places, meaning three times the amount of bandwidth or upload speed. So you wanna make sure that your internet can handle it if you're gonna do that. But it does still integrate and bring in the different chat feeds from all the different places that you are live, which is awesome, making that really, really easy. There's a bunch of plugins and widgets that you can add into your streams as well. And the overall interface, while it is easy to use, I'd say it's probably not as easy to use as EVMux, but it is still good for a beginner to jump in to figure stuff out relatively quickly and to get up to speed. But it's actually got a similar look and feel to to OBS, which is another live streaming tool, which I will mention very soon. It definitely seems to have taken some inspiration from there, which isn't really a bad thing, but it is definitely cut down and more streamlined for a beginner to an intermediate level user instead of OBS, which is probably more advanced and more complicated. I really like how there's seamless integrations with mobile. So if you want to bring in your mobile camera or share your mobile phone screen for even creating gaming live streams and that kind of stuff, you can easily do that in here. There's also a lot of different camera effects and animated titles and things that you can easily add and customize up to. And there's even a drawing mode where you can draw directly onto your stream. One of the standout features for me though is the live virtual camera that is built in here as well, which is normally something that you'd only find in much more professional grade software. And this essentially lets you create a virtual webcam based on what it is you're doing in Prism Live Studio. So if you're adding titles and animations and switching between different things, you can actually pipe that out of Prism Live Studio and into things like Zoom calls or Teams meetings, which can be really powerful as well. Even for running webinars, we can now add more animations and more interaction and stuff all through this virtual live camera setup. But overall, Prism Live Studio, especially given the price of free is a pretty incredible option and it's something worth considering if you're looking for something where you've got a bit of control, not as much as the next options I've got for you, but enough to jump in to tinker things to get things the way that you're looking for without being overwhelmed with features upon features. And it's probably also worth noting that there's a bunch of stuff in there for those of you that are doing gaming live streaming as well. There's lots of different templates and filters and things to help with that. So moving on, the next option is OBS Studio. This is another really, really powerful free option. It's probably the most powerful option out of all the ones I'm suggesting here today, but it's also probably one of the more complicated ones. So I wouldn't really recommend this one for beginners. If you're at an intermediate level through to an advanced level, then this could be up your alley. It's also one of the most popular options out there for Windows, for Mac, and for Linux for live streaming because it's free, it's open source. So it's actually a really big community behind it as well. So if you're looking to get up to speed, we've got some great tutorials linked below, but also there's a big community behind it. So lots of forums and support and stuff. If you've got questions, it's pretty easy for you to get unstuck and moving forward with this. So this is definitely not as intuitive or as easy to use as something like EVMux, where in a couple of clicks, you're up and running. You'll likely wanna go through and set up different scenes for things, customize everything up. Not that any of that is a deal breaker, but it is a steep a learning curve. So this is really a great option if you're someone who is either looking to invest a bit of time into learning and setting all of this up, but someone who really wants to be able to dial everything in right down to the different codecs for recording or broadcasting and really, really specific bit rates and things, then OBS is your choice for this. But also given that it is open source with this massive cult following for it. There's also so many plugins and bolt-ons and add-ons and things to really help you dial in what it is you're looking for. So straight out of the box, it's got a lot, but for really specific things like bringing in guests, which a lot of the other tools had, then that is something that you need a, an additional plugin for to be able to have that functionality in OBS. So that brings us to the final option, which is Ecamm Live. This is another one I'm a massive fan of, one I've spoken about a lot on the channel. We've got tutorials, reviews, all of that stuff again linked below. But this is my go-to for a lot of this stuff, for live streaming, for even recording stuff directly into the computer. I use Ecamm a lot for this as well. And for me, it really is the perfect mix of some of the more advanced stuff 
while also still keeping stuff relatively easy to use. So as a beginner jumping in here, yeah, you could click a few buttons and you could go live and you can build upon that and create something far more complicated, automatically switching scenes and animating different things, all really with not a great deal of complexity in there. So you can build out or build up to that over time if that's something that you're interested in. So it really is that sweet spot between ease of use to a point and the complexity or the advanced stuff that you have in tools like OBS. So again, like Prism Live Studio and also like OBS, it does have that virtual camera functionality. And this is actually the virtual camera that I use when we're doing things like running webinars or if I'm trying to do something a little bit next level on Zoom calls or anything like that. It's also got a really powerful guest or interview feature built in as well if you are on the pro plan. And again, here you could opt for simplicity and just have very simple layouts with a couple of clicks or you can dial in and really customize everything up, create some really unique scenes with you, your guests, different screen shares and things. And it really doesn't take much time to build all of that stuff out. You don't need much technical knowledge as you would with something like OBS. So Ecamm Live is another one that also has a bit of a cult following now, obviously Mac only, but their community and support from the founders, the developers is awesome. So if you're having any issues or you've got feature suggestions or you wanna learn how to do something, the community they've built around it is really, really awesome. And this is one of those tools that as a Mac user, if I had to move back to Windows, Ecamm Live is something that I would miss. It's something that I would, I guess, struggle a bit to replace. That's how awesome it is. Just like OBS and Prism Live Studio, this is software that you will download and install on your Mac. And if you are looking to use this as a more advanced user, you're looking to, to do a bunch of stuff in here, then you might wanna have one of the newer Macs or something that's got a bit more power or performance in there, given that it's not browser-based. Now, in terms of pricing, there is a 14-day trial where you can jump in, have a play around. Again, I think that's a great option for you to make sure that this is a fit for you. There is a standard license and a pro license. But then to actually use it without watermarks and beyond that 14 day trial period is where you'll need to jump on either their standard plan for $16 a month build annually or their pro plan $32 a month build annually. And on the pro plan, you can see here, you get their new Zoom integration, which is awesome. You get their live interview or their guest feature here as well. And that's also where you access the virtual webcam and also virtual microphone too. But you also unlock then ISO video and audio recording. So if you do wanna have a separate video file for each video source or camera or guest, then you can do that in Ecamm. So which is the best one? Well, that's really gonna come down to, again, your needs, your skill level, and what it is you're actually looking to do. How much complexity, where do you wanna grow or take this thing? Or are you just looking for something simple? So if you're an absolute beginner, just starting out, especially if you're looking to do something simple, EVMux or Prism Live Studio could be a great starting place. But also knowing that both of those, you can progress to sort of an intermediate level with a decent amount of customization. Beyond that, if you're looking to really dial everything in, really full control over everything to bit rates, to codecs, to fully customized scenes, then that's OBS. But if you're looking for kind of that sweet spot between them, something that's still easy enough to jump in, something that is software that you download, install, and run from your computer, being able to do simple stuff, but also far more advanced stuff as well. And that's where I think the best all rounder right now, my top pick is Ecamm Live. Now to help you out even further, check out the links in the description box below. We've got different reviews, different tutorials, all to help you with a lot of these tools. And I'll see you in the next video.